Hello, my name is Karen Rubin and I am the Wellness Manager for ACI Core Wellness. Today we're going to talk about functional training or functional fitness and how you can incorporate this into your daily activities of life. I'm going to give you a little bit of background on functional training and then show you a couple examples. First of all, what is functional training? Functional training is a classification of exercise that's designed to strengthen the body to mimic our daily activities of life. Functional training has its origins in rehabilitation. Physical therapists and occupational therapists use this approach to retrain patients who had movement disorders. For example, let's look at a typical gym. You have a variety of weight training machines that target and isolate various muscle groups. However, how do these exercises really bear relationship to the movements we do on a daily basis? In functional training, the idea is to perform many variations of the same exercises we already do so we can prepare our body for our daily activities of life. Your bodies were designed to move in a variety of directions in a dynamic fashion, so our exercises should mimic that as well. So let's look at a popular lower body strengthening exercise, the squat. Squats strengthen the lower muscles of the legs, including the calves, the hamstrings, the quadriceps, and the glutes. We use these muscles for everyday activities such as walking, running, getting up from your chair, going up and down stairs, or even jumping. So when you pick up something, is it always done in the same fashion? For example, in a softball game when you pick up a ground ball, is that the same way that you would pick up your laundry basket? Probably not, however, you're still using all of those lower leg muscles. So we want to try and train our body in a very dynamic fashion. So let's try our functional training with the squat. The first squat we're going to try is a squat with feet close together, which would mimic sitting down in a chair or standing back up after sitting for a while. You want to have your feet close together and perform your squat, being cognizant not to let your knees go beyond your toes, holding your abs in and a nice tall posture. The next squat we're going to try is a squat with wide feet. This might mimic picking up something large and heavy like a 30 gallon water jug. So you want to bring your feet further than hip width apart and perform the squat with the weight in your heels. Once again, being cognizant not to let your knees go over your toes as well as pulling your abs in. A single leg squat is a good training exercise to mimic if you were going to pick something small up off the floor like a pen. You perform the single leg exercise on one leg with the weight in your heels and then do your squat being careful not to let your hips move too far over in one direction. Once again keep your abs in and your shoulders back. And finally, a lateral lunge squat. This will mimic picking up something that's out of your reach. For example, reaching over to your desk to grab a piece of paper. Perform this like a basic squat, although you're stepping out to one side. Just be very careful with your ankles that you don't roll them over and the weight is still in your heels. So in conclusion, the squat is just one example of an exercise that you can do and modify in a variety of ways to mimic your daily activities of life. Just remember that the body moves in a dynamic fashion, so your exercises should as well. Thank you for joining us. If you found this functional training video helpful, please comment below and also follow us on the social media links.